you clarify uh, for us, was she arrested or did she agree to go in for questioning? Well, that's quite an interesting thing because in Scots law, to be arrested has potentially two meanings. You can be arrested in the common understanding of it and charged with a criminal offence. That's not what we think of when we think somebody's been arrested. However, in Scotland, you can be arrested on suspicion or in connection with a crime, which really is a limited time you can be held by the cops who can then question you for that amount of time. It's 12 hours in Scotland. Now, because this is a lengthy investigation that's gone on for quite a few months, years even, um, it's possible that somebody, they could contact someone and say, we'd like to interview you, and you could arrange the time that you go in. However, you still are under arrest when you go in. So that, uh, with all the, the procedures that that has. Now that is really interesting. OK, so we know she's gone in because they've been investigating what they believe has been the mishandling of funds. Uh, why did they feel she might be key to this investigation? Well, we have to be a bit careful because we don't know exactly what the charge is. And in Scotland, we've got this, the contempt of court laws, which don't allow uh, detail on the charges yet because nobody's been charged with anything. But we do know it's, invest as you've said, investigating finances. Now, within the SNP, the key people that ran the SNP was um, Nicola Sturgeon's husband, uh, Peter Murrell, who also was arrested in similar context a few months ago. The treasurer, who was arrested in similar context, and Nicola Sturgeon, who was the leader of the SNP. So, in a sense, there was a logic here when you're looking at the key people involved in the party, if it's to do with the finances of the party, which the police have revealed that is the... That is the basis of the investigation. Mm. So she's now subject to legal processes that her government, in fact, introduced. So where do you think this case could yeah. go? Yeah, another interesting thing about the, the, the two ideas of arrest which I spoke about, that was introduced under Nicola Sturgeon as First Minister. So she's actually introduced the law which she's now subject to, yeah. which I suppose is as it should be if we want all politicians to be subject to the same process. Um, there isn't any set time limit. So this investigation, which seems to me to be quite a complex one because it's to do with finances, IT, documents, accounts, so could go on for several more months, possibly. It might go nowhere. There might be no criminal charges brought or there could be criminal charges. And when the criminal charges are brought, that's when somebody would be arrested in the other sense of the word and charged with a criminal uh, offence. And that could happen uh, with uh, Nicholas Sturgeon and indeed with the other two that have been arrested That's right. uh, and questioned. And, and as you pointed out, those same laws mean it's difficult for you to speculate too much on this. You know, she's come out and said this was her worst nightmare, that she is innocent. Um, I guess that's what yeah. you might have expected her to say. It is, and, and people are arrested normally say that. They don't normally get press coverage to say they're innocent after they've been arrested, but I think that shows you the, the precise and different nature of a First Minister being arrested. Um, the contempt of court laws, which you referred to, are quite strict, but if you look at the media over here, even social media, dip your toe into that, your hair will curl because people are making allegations and suggestions which are way beyond uh, the legality of it. Contempt of court means you can't speculate on guilt or innocence, and even you can't speculate on what the criminal charge will be, because we don't know other than the broad definition of the finances of the SNP. Yeah. The First Minister has been urged to suspend her. Is that likely to happen? Again, that's, that's separate from law to an extent. I doubt it, given the uh, the strength of her statement, which the press have ran, and you mentioned in terms of her declaring her innocence. I, I think it would be unlikely that the the new leader of the SNP, who's quite close to Nicola Sturgeon, um, politically and personally, I, I think it would be difficult for him to order that. However, we don't know, and these are unprecedented times because we've got most senior politician in Scotland who was leading all in front of her for months, years, until a few weeks ago and now being arrested and questioned by the police. Who knows where it could go? But I would be doubtful she'll be suspended. Yeah, and, and as you pointed out, she was such a popular, strong leader for so, so many, many years. Is this likely to have a damaging effect on the SNP and its standing? I think it's probably too early to say. I think the, the difficulty will come if there's criminal charges because a lot of the restrictions I've spoken about which are sort of in place now, but they'll be even more strongly enforced if somebody is arrested and a trial is called. Um, that will have a, a drip drip effect, I think, on any political party, particularly SNP. 
whether that affects the whole issue about whether Scotland should be independent or not is another matter. Initially, it doesn't seem to, but that could change over time. 